Foot controls, manual and automatic. In a manual car, we have the accelerator, the brake, and finally the left foot only clutch pedal. In a automatic vehicle, there is no clutch pedal, just the accelerator and the brake pedal. The accelerator pedal, also known as the gas, can be quite sensitive. So from my experience, when we're using the accelerator, we would like to put the right part of our foot where our big toe is to the pedal, therefore not applying too much pressure or weight from our right foot onto the pedal as gas pedals can be quite sensitive. When the accelerator pedal is pressed, energy goes to the engine and speeds up the vehicle. The more you press the pedal, the faster the vehicle moves. And removing our right foot from the accelerator pedal will help to slow down the vehicle. Only press the brake pedal fully down in the event of an emergency. The brake pedal is used to slow down the vehicle or stop. To ensure that we do not brake too heavily, we will use the same method as we did for the accelerator pedal. Using the part where our big toe is to gently apply pressure to the pedal, therefore not pressing too much weight from our right foot and braking too harshly. I highly recommend that we place our heel of our right foot between the accelerator and the brake pedal, so you can easily pivot between one pedal to the other. Pressing the brake pedal too firmly will result in the car stopping harshly. Remember, the brake pedal is very sensitive. On our driving theory test, we are taught the best method for braking. What we're taught is to gently apply pressure to the brakes early and increase this pressure progressively, a fraction at a time as needed. When pressing the brake pedal, red lights will illuminate at the back of the vehicle which will warn other road users of your intentions to slow down. The clutch pedal is used for changing gears, moving and stopping the vehicle. For the clutch pedal, use your left foot. Vehicles have an engine that provides the power to move the wheels and the clutch allows you to connect or disconnect the power from the engine to the wheels. The clutch is formed of two plates. One is connected to the engine and the other is connected to the wheels via the gearbox. When the clutch plate is connected to the engine, the wheels will revolve. When the clutch pedal is fully down, both plates are separated. So there's no connection and this allows you to change gears. After we select a gear and start to bring the clutch pedal up, the plates get closer together. When we raise the clutch pedal up around halfway, the plates start to connect. You can identify this connection as you will hear the engine noise change